Hey, double is um Tommy Bryson. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Yeah. I'm doing good, man. How can I help? Oh, I want to find out how you do the job ship, the Amazon job shipping. Mm hmm. All right. So first things first. Okay, this call is going to be recorded and potentially uploaded. Just so you know. All right. Yeah. All right. So Amazon drop shipping. What do you want to do it, and what do you know about it? I was watching a video for you. I'm subscribed to your YouTube channel. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm trying to see if I can make an extra income a month. And I was hearing about the Amazon job shipping, like you can buy it for cheap and put it back online. So what about the stuff online? So I want to know how I do it. Okay. So what you wanna? You just wanna make passive income in some in some sense? Yeah. Okay. So. Passive income would be like you put some money up front and then like money keeps coming in like passive checks. That's not what it is, right? That's not what it is at all because it's going to require work. So the first thing is you have two ways to do it. You have retail arbitrage with Amazon and then you have drop shipping. Retail arbitrage basically means, by the way, I, I hear some feedback is, do you have me a speaker? No. Okay, it sounds a little weird. Okay, so retail arbitrage basically means what you're gonna do is you go, for example, to a Walmart store, a Ross store, a Burlington store, and what you do is basically you buy cheap discount products there, and then you relist them onto Amazon and sell them for a profit. So if you ever been, for example, to a Burlington or like a Ross store or Marshalls, you see like all those products right there are like highly discounted. Have you seen that? Yep, yep. So the idea is you can actually go ahead and grab those products and resell them for a retail price on Amazon. Now, the way this works is more than often, people just buy a lot of products, put them in a box, send it to Amazon, and Amazon handles the rest of the work, right? It's a great way to actually do it. But again, it's not passive because you need to go to the store, you need to find products, find the correct products, test different things out, then actually go ahead and sell them on Amazon. And it costs money to actually do it too, right? Just a little bit, not that much. But that's retail arbitrage. And then what you're describing right now is drop shipping, right? Drop shipping is basically is a hands-off method. So what it's mean is, hey, I'm gonna grab products, for example, from an online website or a merchandiser or a supplier. And what I want them to do is basically I'm going to list their products on my Amazon store. Whenever it sells, I'll tell them to ship that product over to my customer with the money my customer actually gave me. So retail arbitrage requires you to put your money down, but drop shipping is just somebody buys a product, you use their money to buy that product and then ship it over to them, but you never actually have the product on hand whatsoever. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, but how you do that? Okay, how you do it is basically, you have to find a supplier or for example, like a website or AliExpress, like one of those stores. And then you build, for example, an Amazon store. Now there are a lot of videos on YouTube. You can just type in, for example, how to start an Amazon dropshipping business and you can start it up. But what I don't want to tell you is, Hey, this is going to be fully passive. It requires no work. It requires effort on your part and entrepreneurship to go ahead and go on YouTube maybe buy a few courses here and there to actually learn how the whole process actually works. And because it's drop shipping, meaning it requires little money and little effort in a sense, a lot of people can actually do it, which means there's more competition. And it also means that your margins, the amount of money you can actually make is a lot less. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So I have two people to recommend to you. I have, for example, there's a guy, his name is Paul Jalipsky. So that's um, Paul, and then the letter J, and then Lipsky is um, L-I-P-S-K-Y. You can find him on YouTube. He makes videos about this stuff. And then you also have um, Jasmine Bautista, which is a friend of mine, and she talks about um, Amazon arbitrage. So Paul focuses up mostly like on dropshipping, and Jasmine mostly, for example, on arbitrage. So if you want to know about this stuff, watch their videos on YouTube, find out how they get it done, and then when you get started, start small, St don't start with a lot of money. That way you kind of understand how it works and you build up from there. Make sense? Yep. All right. Any more questions?
Yeah, I saw you uh, watch a video for you where you said you can make a YouTube channel and upload video that someone already put up. Yeah. So all right, so what that is is basically it's not it's not that simple, right? Because again, whatever requires the least amount of effort and is the easy to do, it means that anybody can do it, which basically means, hey, Tommy, anyone can do it. There's more competition. So the question is, Tommy, how do I start a faceless YouTube channel where I just re-upload other people's all people's videos? Now, very simple. The lazy way is you grab a YouTube link for a channel, you download the video. If it's in Creative Commons, which basically means, hey, this video, I have permission to actually use it without having to worry about it. Make sense? Yeah. So you download it and you upload it to the channel. You can build a channel based on different genres. So I grab tech videos or X type of videos or whatever it is. But the problem with it is basically that. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm hearing you. Yeah. But the problem is that that method, the video is already up there, right? Somebody already made that video. People already watched it. So the likelihood that you're actually going to get popular from it is very low. Now, a creative way to do it is basically you grab those videos, you download a free video editor from YouTube or from, I mean, from Google, and then you edit that video again, you add a little voiceover over it, and you try to create a brand around it. That's a lot more harder. It requires a lot more work and a lot more smarts and research, right? So that means, hey, there's less competition in that aspect. That's the idea. Make sense? Yep, yep. Now, for context, um, Delbert, what are you currently doing for work, and like, what's your current situation that you're interested in this stuff? I'm currently um, doing construction. Okay. And how's the, how, are, how are things going? Things are going pretty good. Okay. So I'm guessing that construction is going good, but you want to figure out a way to make money on the side, right? Yeah. Now, is but your I goal... Now, is your goal, for example, to stop the construction and do something else? Or is your goal to just, like, um, have extra money on the side while you still do construction? Have extra money on the side while I'm doing construction so I can invest at the same time. Okay, so you like doing construction, basically, right? Yeah. Okay, great. So my advice... No, I'm here now. Yeah. So my advice would be this, right? What you want to do is, if I were you, and my name is Delbert, first of all, I have to understand that most likely construction hours are, are long, and these businesses do require time, so it's not like, hey, I'm going to just like do it, and it's like a little bit of, no, it's, it's like a full business. It requires a lot of your time, so it's a lot, it's a lot of sacrifice. But if all I want is passive income for my future and retirement, I would just focus on following the four steps for financial freedom, which is step one is erase my debt, meaning pay off my debts, all the debt except the mortgage. Step two is save for emergencies, three to six months worth. And then step three is you start investing, for example, into your retirement accounts, the 401k or the Roth IRA. Now, if you wanna know exactly what to invest into, what I do is index funds. I have videos on YouTube on how to invest and what do I invest into and how to do the whole process. So research that. But then you can invest, for example, I end up so, opening up a Roth IRA 401 because of you. I watch your video and I saw you say, hey, Roth 401. Yeah, so I go to my company and say, hey, do you guys do this? And I'm like, yeah, like, I need to open one. Yeah, yeah. Because that's, that's I awesome. have one right now. So All thank right. you very much. Thank you, brother. And, and the question you want to ask him is, do you have a 401k match? Because you want to find out if they give you money when you invest money. So, so you have like a Roth 401, I mean, you have a Roth 401k, that's also an option, but you probably don't have that. But you also have like a Roth IRA. Yeah, I got two, I got a Roth IRA 401 and I got a regular 401 and they're much. So they actually offer a Roth 401k at your job? Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's the one you want. So the Roth 401k basically means is that when you get paid and you pay tax on it, you invest the rest of the money, and that money grows basically tax free. And when it's time to take it out, you can take it out fully being 100% tax free. The 401k basically means 
you invest the money before you pay taxes on it, but then later on, you'll pay taxes on it. And that's gonna hurt you Absolutely. later on when you actually need it. So I recommend the Roth 401k. If they give you the freedom to pick your investments, look into the videos that I told you about, like on my channel, just look up like how to invest, Tommy Bryson, what to invest into, Tommy Bryson, and you'll find those videos right there. But again, what I would do is just invest 10 to 20% of my money into my retirement accounts. So if they say- I do 20%. Okay, that's good, that's good. But do you have any debts? I just have one debt, and it's just $15,000. I'm taking time paying that off. Yeah, so what I would do is I would pause all my investments right now. Right, What what's that debt for? That was a personal loan. To take care of some business, some personal business. How much is it? How much is it? How much? What's the interest rate on it? Interest rate is three percent because my credit is very good. Yeah. So what you want to do is, you want to pay that off, and I would pause my investments. That way, you don't have money coming out of your pocket every single month for that payment. So once you're done paying yeah. that off, then you save for emergencies because construction is a job that you might have it today, but if you can't work tomorrow, you don't have a job, right? If you break a leg, something crazy happens, you're, you're out of the game. So save for emergencies, three to six months. And if you also, if they offer it, get disability insurance just in case. Um, but yeah, debt free, save for emergencies. Then you restart investing at 10 to 20%. And the idea is, right, you invest to get the match at your company but then the rest of the money, you put it into your Roth IRA, and that way like, you're also solid. Make sense? Yep. Okay. That, that's, that's, that's basically it. And what, what, what state do you live in, by the way? I live in Connecticut. Oh, Connecticut. So do you have a house, or are you renting? I'm renting, but I'm looking for a house. I'm looking for a two-family house, you know, so I can... The tenant can help me pay the mortgage. Okay. Are you, um, is it just going to be you? Or are you like married? You have two incomes or just your income? It's just my income for now. All right. So you want help when it comes to like um, real estate? You want me to tell you what to do? I would like to help us. I end up watching a video with you and you say pay 20% down. Make sure you say you pay X amount to 15 year, 15 year mortgage and can pay it off in 10 years. Mm -hmm. I watch almost all of your videos. Then you then you already got it, brother. You already got it. Um, yeah, I watch almost all of your videos. Soon as you good. put them up, I watch it. Awesome. Thank you so much, brother. Um, just to okay. summarize, though, so so we got because you got me on the line now. So if you have questions, you can ask me directly. Just to summarize, all right? The reason you want to pay your debts off and have an emergency fund before you buy some real estate is because if things go wrong, then you can be potentially at risk of default. And that's not what you want, right? You can ruin your credit yeah. score. You can ruin your whole life, basically. So when you do buy this home, it's advisable you put down 20%. But if all you have is 10%, that's fine, right? 10 to 20% is fine. Now, the idea is when you buy this property, make sure there's no more than 33%, 33% of your monthly income on a 15-year mortgage. Make sense? Yep. Now, whether this is, for example, a single family home or a two family home, doesn't matter. What matters is basically that it fits your numbers. That way you're able to pay it off as fast as possible. Now, if you're investing 10 to 20%, if your expenses are like less than 70% of your income and you're, you should have extra income left over to throw out the mortgage and finish it even faster. That way, like you're done with this whole game in eight to 10 years. In eight to 10 years, you'll have a bunch of money in your investment account, and you'll also have a paid off home, which basically means you don't have to pay a crazy amount of money every single month on shelter. Make sense? Yeah, that's what it does. That's what you want to do. So if you do want to start, for example, a side business, um, understand that it will require a lot of hours of your time. If what you want to do is just build up passive income on the side, then you can just do it with your 401k and your Roth IRA. If you want more income, you can just get, for example, another job to put that towards your debt and put that towards your investment or your savings for a down payment. Make sense? Yep. That's my advice, brother. Any 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 more questions?
Oh, that's it for now. Thank you very much for your advice. If anything, I can always give you a text or whatever. But you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, Delbert, as always, these are not one-time calls. If you do want to call me back, feel free to schedule another one, and I'll give you a call back, okay? Thanks again. Appreciate uh, you, brother. Thank you, bro. Uh-huh. All, right. All right. Peace out. Yeah. All right, guys. So, that right there was Ashley Delbert, you know? And one thing I always want to do or try to do is dive a little bit deeper than what the person actually came in initially asking about. You know, if I had left it there, which is basically, Tommy, I want passive income, right? Um, then I could answer it very quickly. But then I wouldn't have really got into the concrete problems actually going on. Because the thing with him is he doesn't hate his job. He likes doing construction, right? So what is something you actually need to do here? Well, make sure you have disability insurance. It's one of those jobs that if you break an arm, you break a leg, then guess what? You can't do the job anymore. So you need to have insurance when it comes to those things. And on top of that, people a lot of the times have these ideas that, hey, Tommy, when it comes to building passive income um, or starting a business, you know, is it just like I put money and it's done and it's over? No, no, it isn't like that. You know, whether it's drop shipping, whether it's retail arbitrage, whether it's YouTube, whatever it is, you know, it is going to require some work of your part. And more than often, it's going to be a lot more work than you probably think it actually is. Now, if you're doing construction, which is labor intensive work, and then you're coming home, to, for example, to go drive into X business and then to another business and then try to buy things here and buy things there, most likely, you're probably gonna be miserable. And it's a lot of work, okay? I'm just being honest and being realistic. If you're willing to do it, by all means, go ahead. But the easiest way to do it is if you love your job and you live in a good situation, right? And you got some debt, pay off the debt. If you want to do like Uber Eats or deliver pieces for a while or get like some side hustles where you're doing like um, some construction work here and there, like um, as a handyman, fine. Okay. Use that money, pay off your debt, save for emergencies, and then save for the down payment on a home. And that's the whole idea. That's the whole concept, right? You build passive income that way. And if you want to build a business, let it be because you actually want to. Because every side business requires some level of passion attached to it. And that's the core idea. And by the way, guys, I appreciate you guys a ton when you guys actually call me. Thank you so much for these calls. I appreciate it so much. Now, if you guys do want to call me next time, feel free to do so. The link is down below. And you have the chance to talk to me for 15 minutes for free. For free. Okay? I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Long-term team for the win. And as always... Peace. More content here. Subscribe right here. Oh, follow me on Instagram too, at Tommy Bryson.